Greetings. Ayivi here. Hope you're all doing great. For our subscribers, for returning visitors, for in fact new visitors also, for everybody, thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a while. It's been five months since uh, a video for this particular project was uploaded. Since then, um, we've been making some progress. The journey to building this house continues unabated. We are going to talk about electrical boxes and become reacquainted with the project. So this very first electrical box, it's a junction box. It houses wires arriving into the building from the meter wires, cables arriving into the building from the meter, which is the burgundy rectangular box against the wall that you can see in the video now. That junction box, in fact, for that matter, all the junction boxes, they are white in color with white covers, are made by Angelic. Angelic is a Moroccan company. Um, in this particular location, you're going to have wires uh, running through that junction box um, for cameras that will be mounted up on the wall. CCTV cameras. Switches and outlets are plastic boxes manufactured by Le Grand. Le Grand is a French manufacturer. I must mention that in Togo, unlike in many other West African countries, electrical boxes for construction are made from plastic-like materials. Wiring for a camera that will be mounted to provide surveillance of the front yard will be in that location. Next, we're walking past the drivers and the maids' quarters, past the door to the kitchen, and right there outside will be an external kitchen for cooking the African way. And there will be an electrical outlet there. Behind the house, there you have a junction box by Angelic, again, the Moroccan company that uh, manufactures those boxes. Um, and wires for the backyard uh, will be uh, essentially uh, passing through those um, junction boxes. Now, let's head indoors. We see a collection of outlet boxes, switch boxes, and um, a junction box on the wall over there. This is presumably where the entertainment unit or the center of activity in the living room downstairs will be. As we move further in, we see a switch box installed on the wall to turn. 
turn on lights in the powder room downstairs. The three boxes up top. They are truncated cone-like in shape and inserted in the wall. They house switches that control air conditioning units. Dismatic circuit breakers or the disjoncteur dismatic. We are entering the guest room. Okay, we are in the kitchen right now. It is going to be a galley kitchen with cabinets and countertops on both walls. Working through some of the details on placement of outlets, outlet boxes as we speak. In the laundry room, uh, we can see the outlet boxes, the dysmatic circuit breaker up top, for the hot water heater that will furnish hot water to the laundry room and also to the um, to the kitchen, we have outlets on the wall for uh, the washing machine and dryers. We expect to have uh, some kind of a sink in here with a countertop. This is the storeroom, the storage room. Uh, it's fairly small and one of the reasons why uh, in the galley kitchen we're going to have some large size cabinets uh, to provide more storage for household items.
Hi there. Thank you for sticking and staying to this part of the video. We are almost at the end. Before I go any further, I'd like to give thanks to infinite intelligence, to the power that nourishes us all in the physical and the spiritual dimension. I am very fortunate that my path has crossed yours in this particular video. And I'm sure our paths have crossed several times over and over again. So one more time, I'd like to thank you for coming back. I'd like to thank the new subscribers for being here. We are going to have some more videos on this particular project. Until next time, this is Ayibi saying cheers. Cheers to you.